Welcome to this webinar. This is a webinar from me, Boyd Butler, and I'm talking to Paul Hadjik, who is the owner of Cotton Cox, the solicitors in Chipping Sodbury, but he's also probably the foremost expert, I would say, certainly in blogging about conveyancing in the UK, and he's been asked to be on the radio, he's been asked to be on the BBC One show, because he knows a lot about this whole legal process of buying and selling a property. So, Paul Hajek, conveyancing expert, you've been in this business for, I think, what, nearly as many chapters in terms of years as are in your book. What, 27, 28 years? Yeah, well, it, it's 31 and climbing now. So um, 31 and climbing. I've, I've been around the block. Welcome to this bit. webinar. This and you're still, a, still a spring chicken. And not many people know, that actually, you play, I'm you should be quite, to quite fit Paul in spring chicken. Hedgick, you play for Bath, who is you, in the owner uh, of the Amateur that. Days. Back in the day, yes. Back in the day, so... I've got a he's rugby also playing, soul practitioning expert, expert, I would say, certainly in law, who's also run an estate okay. agent, so knows and both he's been sides on the radio, the he's been asked to be on the BBC One so show, before. because everyone he knows uh, a you know, everyone about who this is whole legal process of marketing knows about and, uh, selling a property. Providing information and stuff. So you've written this book project, for your expert, prospective clients and this for your clients. And basically, what, nearly as many chapters I think you're 27 in chapters years, in your book. What, really 27, 28 years? In depth yeah, well, it, stuff. It's 31 for everyone who wants to know this whole legal and process about buying things. And it's a bit of a mystery, isn't it? This. This and whole process, yes, you hand over the money, and, then and not many people know that you don't really know what happened. You should so be quite, is that what the book is all about? Telling people what's about. There's, there's, there's a sort of mystery around and dancing and what it involves. We've got a rugby and, uh, playing, very difficult to define other than expert uh, on getting from A to B. There's a lot of things in between, so knows both sides of the part of the problem as I see it. So Paul, conveyancing everyone, in trying uh, to you know, tell everyone who what is, they do is is that it, it's an invisible about, uh, service. So it, it's working information behind the scenes. Book, uh, sometimes it can run smoothly, other times not. Your so and what basically, I try to do is just to I think your twenty-seven uh, chapters make really the various stages and in -depth various. Stuff. But um, everyone who wants to know this whole legal process things that would about be buying and selling houses. It's a bit of a mystery, uh, isn't it? Based around buying this whole process, you hand over the money and then Wales. most people so don't really know what happened. Started so started off is that what the book is all about? Writing writing about, the, about, about the housing market, market and then went around to detail about what it involves before you put the property on the market. Getting some ATV, we had our own state agency. So combining everything into a blog. Uh, which which demystifies it, to puts it in plain English, is, is no legal jargon, just for people to dip so in and out, working uh, behind the scenes, that, the blog, uh, sometimes it can run smoothly at the time, uh, uh, so what I tried to do was to do a special, uh, maybe one various day, stages, uh, and test various, myself to write a blog every day, uh, uh, in March, things that years ago, useful to people uh, on everything uh, you need to know buying and selling properties in England and Wales, I started off by and then writing off together the housing market, so that's a distillation and updating back of what happens. Some of the most relevant things on the market to help people uh, understand expertise when not only our own what has stage before you see property on so the market. Combining everything the whole into course a blog, of the journey for uh, which, which sort of demystifies it's it. It's very interesting as well because English, I'm just going to dip into a couple of no the chapters jargon, because I think to dip that. In and out of you don't uh, just talk about any of the legal the side of it, you also talk about some of the, first became, I suppose, canny uh, um, tricks uh, that sometimes estate agents might try. You know, when you want to get a good conveyancing solicitor, and uh, after all, test you know, when you're buying something worth several hundred thousand pounds and in March, one of those things around ago, your neck called a mortgage, uh, you really want to make that the whole so investment uh, is going to go the right way. One of your top tips is, you know, you're talking about choosing a conveyancing solicitor. So that's a, a lot of people probably don't know this, as the saying goes, that some, of the most some estate agents are actually paid to, to point you in the direction of a certain conveyancing solicitor who may or may not be the best the one for you. Isn't that right? Yes, the, 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 the market has it's changed over the well, last because few I'm years with a couple the introduction of because I think that state agents you don't just talk about you know, the legal uh, side of it, you also talk legal, about some of the uh, convenience I suppose, canny um, tricks that uh, sometimes also, state agents might uh, try. You know, when you want to get a good convenience solicitor, and after all, you know, when you're buying something worth several hundred thousand pounds uh, and one of those things around your neck or a mortgage, 
pay. You really want to make it the whole uh, and it's investment difficult unless is going you know to go the right way. Uh, what what's are your going on, tips? whether to make you know, a talking about choosing a specific the right decision for you. Sometimes it can know, work, the same goes there may be more streamlined processes. To point uh, you I'm, I'm in the direction of a certain convincing system. It may or may not be the best out one there for you, isn't that right? Perhaps yes, the, 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 the market has changed, changed over the last few yeah. years with the introduction uh, of the situation the which had they been able to know, take a rounded view or have a little bit more information, people, they could make that judge services themselves. Uh, but so also, it, it's, it's one uh, of those uh, things that a lot of would say, in the same way that you would just get one estate agent into uh, value your uh, properties. Uh, uh, certainly just don't take um, the conveyancing uh, and it's difficult by the estate agent do a bit of your own research, go online, Google the name of the firm, is, uh, the right decision. Check out if they've Sometimes got some good reviews and work. testimonials and things like and that. Yes, yeah, uh, if you go on to, uh, uh, and not, not many law firms it, have it, but um, uh, certainly on ours, we have a, a lot of uh, misinformation uh, of uh, testimonials. I think you've got something like 100 testimonials or something on your website. Yeah, and you're doing a good job. And growing, uh, yes. So uh, it's probably the fact that you actually you give away the book so people know. You, you give away this book, don't you? On your website, as well as selling it on Amazon, yes. it's under ten pounds. So you actually, it's, it's one you know, of those your whole experience you're say, giving away the same way that in a you book. Just get that's probably why people, um, you know, enjoy having you work just for them because they know the what you're doing because you're giving this away. Don't you ever worry that you're giving everything online, away and people are just going to take that and go to a different solicitor uh, or does that not bother you? Check out if they've got some good reviews like and testimonials and things like that. Yes. Yes. It's 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 from other, if other you get on to the difficulty as many law when you'll have it but trying to define we have a conveyancing service as you've not got testimonials I think you've got something like a hundred testimonials or something on your website and you're doing a good job and growing yes so uh, it's uh, probably the fact that you actually give away the book so people know you, you give away this book, don't you, so on your website, as well as selling it on Amazon, yes, it's under £10. You actually, feel you know, your whole experience, you're giving away in a book. That they would be that's probably why people, that's right, lots of people will do this research um, you know, online, enjoy, but there's also a couple of things you work for, I suppose, because they know what you're doing, which people should be checking this out. Don't, don't you ever worry that you have a chapter in your book about the quality of the contents and which is the story, or does that not bother you? society? Because I do. I remember reading your book that some law firms aren't doing um, convincing every single said, day you know, it's just part trying of to define the whole bag of tricks which they, they have basically but yes, the two things really is the quality convincing scheme which the law society i guess has quite a stringent done. Process uh, before it hands this, this accolade out. And the second part of it is, so you can tell me about that. So the second part of it is, well, just explain why you need to be with a solicitor who actually um, does conveyancing every single day of the week. So, quality, look, quality convention, right, lots of people will do this research online. But there's also a couple of, um, I suppose, offline ideas which people should be checking out. One of them, you have a chapter in your book about the quality convention, which is from the law. Society, because I do, you know, I remember reading your book that some law firms aren't doing convincing every single day, you know, it's just uh, a part you can of rely upon. the whole bag of tricks which they have, basically, but yes, there's two things to it, it's a lot of convincing scheme which the law society, I guess, has quite a stringent process before it has this accolade out, and the second part of it is, so you can tell me about that, but the second part of it as well is just explain why you need to be with a sister who actually see whether they have that accreditation. The law society does it for the week. So quality, look, quality well. what's all that about? Um, so well, it, it just um, gives you a, a little bit of idea of information again the law society when you're looking to, for a solicitor to uh, do your house conveyancing. Uh, you're not having to spend that much time finding out about what so people do or whether they're authorised accredited. Right if you use it. Uh, so another one. it gives you and just a, a, level of, a, a level of comfort that they have gone through a stringent process. And certainly, uh, as a solicitor accredited with you could carry out convincing as if you were the quality of convincing the other day by the law sending criminal. So, so in football terms, it's a way of um, firm showing their medal, so to speak. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's just like a, a, a manager firing away for his FIFA badges which enables him then to decide to run for club. Um, um, so it, as well, it, it's, it's um, giving. So it, it uh, just uh, comes you to a little bit looking more online information again when you're looking to make sure that, that, that firm has convincing. 
uh, you're not having to spend that uh, much time and finding out about very good at what they do or whether they're quite you actually give you. actually in the, uh, the book so you actually give a list of questions a, to a level of comfort uh, ask they anyway to ask the convincing process so really you make the job very uh, simple for you to do the choosing because they actually have a checklist which is quite a lot Yes, yeah, so this is apparently a very, very scary. Uh, in football terms, you know, it's a way of um, firm showing their medals, or so to speak. Coming out yeah, it's, it's so like a, 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 a manager, manager who, uh, who uh, would love to hear from people that for badges to ask us questions. That's what they do. Uh, even if you are a little bit uh, scared, there's uh, questions in your book. You can put that on an email and uh, come by that off to those looking online, thinking of using and wherever you want to get you get sure. And the other law firms all thank Clutton Cox for putting the list together uh, and say thank you very much for making them work but that's fine you talk yeah, about you talk about the whole well, survey and um, different types of surveys and also a list of questions a cautionary tale and things like this one of the anyway, things I do want to mention is to say when you make news job recently, recently you know, know the Daily Mail the Telegraph and the checklist is um, this is this the yes, amazing so thing a, called very scary, council repair uh, liability and i think you you have, know you probably are one of the experts that gets asked to go in the media on this one so, this, yeah, is, uh, don't, this don't is where be scared, you know, you, know you can be in your home you could have bought a home and suddenly is, you get a big bill are, through the front door which says the listen book governor we need fifty thousand pounds because we want to repair the chancel of our church so cough up because you and the other law firms all think repair liability is this Absolutely true. Together. It, it, Thank it you very much for that. Uh, you, uh, you talk about the whole survey, and different types of surveys, uh, and also been a cautionary tale and things like to, uh, this. One of the things I, I do want to mention, uh, it has been in the news recently, uh, the Daily Mail, the Telegraph, the uh, Guardian, it, it is, is um, one of this the amazing that we thing do have called chancellor repair uh, liability system. and i think you um, you know you probably are one of the experts to get to asked to go in the media on this one can, this is yeah, the, here's where as it seems you know you can be in your home recently, you can afford the home and suddenly you get a big a bill through the front door um, which says listen governor we need fifty thousand pounds um, because we want to repair the chancellor of our church so cough up because you've got to pay chancellor that's right so if you're going to be buying a home anyway in the Medieval church, it, it, it or even sometimes for, can be several miles uh, away. I mean, the best thing to do is to make sure you, as a solicitor who actually uh, yeah, is aware, aware of chancellor repair liability to, uh, and can yes, offer solutions church, in terms of this uh, indemnification uh, yes, uh, it, 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 insurance uh, policy. It, it is, go, go on to the law of the you can read it all there. Uh, the, the Again, have tried to use there, but a bit I've tried to answer. Uh, in most cases now, uh, lower deadlines are still taking out the Omtosi insurance. It's just a team of if pieces still is a danger. It's certainly um, alive that being there is a potential raised by people all over the country uh, who uh, have had one of these so low demise from the land registry saying that they have a potential as our best chance of liability. That's right. So if you're going to buy a home anywhere near the mini church, even sometimes can be several miles away. I mean, the best thing to do is to make sure you as a solicitor who actually is aware aware of chancellor repair liability and can offer solutions in terms of this indemnification. So there's a bit of a defect there in the convincing process. Interestingly, convincing fees. You know, we talked about your book basically justifies the whole process, and actually. It makes there, it really uh, obvious that this uh, is quite uh, a technical now, and uh, sometimes long-winded process. You've got to get all sorts of information together, like if someone's had a boiler put in, in or some double glazing, it's got to be done by a fencer installer for double glazing and by the right gas boiler installer, because these are new laws that come into It's actually quite amazing that you can do something that many people don't, which is actually offer fixed fees, convincing fixed fees. How do you do that? Well, the, the, the fixed fee we've been, it's a model that we've been using for as long, as long as I've been doing it. So that's right, so it's a bit of a defect so there in it, the uh, conveyancing process one of that's the not areas picked up. Which Interestingly, um, conveyancing the, fees, you know, we talked about your book basically demystifies the whole fixed process. Fees are actually, quite common. it makes it uh, really that obvious that this they, is they quite a technical uh, and sometimes long when you have process, to, uh, you've got to get all sorts of information together, like if someone still had a boiler put in so or a double glazing, it's got to be, be done by a fencer uh, installer, a double glazing, by the right gas boiler installer, it's actually quite amazing so that 
our you know, own trade is many um, know, which is actually it's offer guaranteed fixed, fixed fees, legal fees with no fees. hidden tax. How do you do that? Again, it's just one of those things. It's just be careful about it. It's yeah, but if you don't know what's going to happen, you don't, you don't know if there's going to be ra raid on gas that someone's going to want to monitor something or we've got to go off the van find something. Yes, when you're looking to buy, we give a standard fixed fee which covers the sale and purchase of a house, other things that may come into the equation which we don't know about, still we will set out right at the beginning, final bit, again everything is on a fixed fee basis, so you have the comfort of knowing that if anything does pop up, we give a few no quotation fees in advance, it's similar to the um, guaranteed uh, airline legal fees with, uh, with uh, and it's just one seating, of those things, just meals, about wider. Yeah, but if you don't know no what's going to happen, you don't, you don't know if there's going to be no, the rest ra of raid on you, gas that someone's going to, to want to monitor uh, yes, or that's something of, or. Yeah. Uh, we've got to go off and, and anyway, something. Um, Paul, yes, most when, of the money you're looking that uh, we, goes to the solicitors actually doesn't actually go into your which into your bank account. Actually, most of it goes to the government. House. I think you know, in um, stamp duty, land tax, and VAT, and the land registry, we we're talking. We were, we I think, if you give an example, three hundred and fifty thousand pounds house. Ultimately, you know, the total cost of eleven thousand seven hundred sixty-five, ten thousand six hundred pounds. So ninety-two percent of that. It goes on stamp, um, duty, land tax, and VAT. So, in fact, uh, despite this whole legal process, actually, I think wider, this is, you know, compared to uh, getting your dog seen to at the vet, so it actually seems like quite a reasonable thing. Yes, yeah, well, it, it, yeah. it is a very well, right. uh, competitive and, and anyway, field. And, uh, uh, most of the money um, that it, it uh, goes to the citizens actually doesn't actually go into your into your bank account. Actually, most of it goes to the government. I think, you know, in stamp uh, duty, land tax, and VAT, and, uh, and uh, the land registry, we're talking, I think you give an example, £350,000. Ultimately, you know, the total cost of £11,000. And in your book, you've also got lots of good advice so people who are sort of those cohabiting or buying their home land together and for the first so time. This yeah. is something that more, more people are doing as, you know, actually, property is quite expensive. I it generally does is, take two know, people to uh, now, even if you're gone. The seems property of Adam, they may be quite young, <laughs> or like I suppose people who've got divorced and selling houses yes, well, and buying again. It, it, it is a very uh, putting uh, houses in trust and, and stuff uh, like that. So there's a um, great chapter uh, uh, on that, that, which is very, very important. So, higher in yeah, setting up home with a partner and avoiding. Yeah, uh, so you've got five great, and, uh, simple, straightforward solutions for that. Yes, it's, it, it's one of those things that in, in the rush and the enthusiasm that buys your home, there are other things that That's right. Uh, and in your book, um, you've also and, got lots uh, of good advice uh, for people who are sort of cohabiting or buying their home together for the first time. This is something that more and more people are doing. Property is quite expensive. Generally, we have to kill the romance just for just for a brief and to get on. Well, they may be quite we, young, we will just, uh, or I suppose dampen, people who've got divorced for a little while and just to uh, again. So at least give you something um, to think about. Putting houses in the and, trust uh, and stuff like that, so uh, there's a great well, once chapter it's done, it's uh, way you on that, which that's right. Very, very important. Important. Yeah, so that's the job of solicitors yeah, anyway, isn't it, to solve potential problems even before they before they appear, basically. Yes, I think prevention is better than cure. It's one of those things that, although a cure is always more easily taken when you know something's wrong, people will generally pay more for that. So you've also broken down the whole conveyance and jargon and stuff, and the book is written, as you say, in a way which makes it easy for, I suppose, people like me just to go through it, you know, think about Gazander and Gazander, we have to kill the romance just for explaining the fact that nothing is really firm until exchange of contracts. And this is always, I've always wondered why they always put up the sold signs outside houses until it says subject to contract. So it's right, isn't it? Until the exchange of contracts, you can have a Gazandering where the buyer solve potential problems even before they... Before they appear, the seller has to drop yes, the price, or uh, something, uh, uh, where is best someone else comes in and offers to pay more. Absolutely. So, Although yeah, a cure is always more easily paid on your toes until um, yes, um, yes, yes, exchange of contracts. Yes, yeah, so so obviously you've also broken down the, the whole convention of and stuff, and the book is written, as you say, in a way which makes it easy for, I suppose, people like me to go through it. That's why it is one of the most stressful things. Think about gazundering, gazumping, explaining all this, explaining the fact that 
You know, nothing is really to that firm until contract, which exchange, exchange of contracts. Exchange this contract is always, literally I've always wondered why they always put up this whole sign outside house. You know, the it's right, isn't it? Until seller, the exchange of uh, contracts is taking place, you can have like a thundering where the buyer the job, um, pulls out the last minute, the seller has to drop his price, or something. Yeah, where or someone else comes and obviously pay more. So comes is, is that right? You have to be on your toes and so still yeah. that, um, change the contract. whole stuff about yeah, that. So it's great about contracts. And I have to say, if I would have uh, written this book, I would have taken a big yellow pen or read this book and be using it every day. A big yellow um, pen for something risk, you know, which you put in there, which I think is absolutely brilliant, which is the thing about the lockout clause. I don't know how many people know about these lockout clauses, but trying to prevent gazundering or gazundering, there's this thing called a lockout clause. Contract. Yeah. Can you explain about you that, for uh, As well, it, with the contracts, it's, it's one and way to stop um, uh, people uh, coming uh, in right uh, 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 the uh, uh, job. They may the problem with the lockout they clause is it does under uh, vary a little bit off, uh, depending on the market. Uh, so if it's a seller's market, someone uh, uh, seems to be going into that stage, they're less inclined. The whole chapter, whole stuff about that is great about contracts. And I have to say, if I were to uh, written this book, I would uh, take a big market, yellow pen or read this book and be using it every day. Those. Big so, yellow pen uh, or something, again, which you it, put it, in there, a which of I think is absolutely in the brilliant. Position. The thing about uh, the lockout clause, uh, I don't know how many people know about like the lockout clause, like but, but trying to prevent the gazundering or gazundering, there's this thing called a lockout clause. Can you just explain about that, please, Paul? Well, it will get in the way to one way the lockout agreement provider is that you must get to an exchange contract dissolving you day two weeks. Uh, or three weeks. The problem with uh, the so lockout it it does focus on the mind and uh, vary a little bit from that point of view. depending on the market. Well, it's so absolutely it's great because it's a really good negotiating sure. tool, and most people are dealing with uh, estate agents don't realise they're actually dealing with professional uh, negotiators who negotiate uh, every day, yes. and their their job really is to sell that house for the highest price possible. So when you are buying a house. So, you know, read uh, up on negotiation again, tips. It, Don't it, give a anything away to the estate agent. Don't walk into the house saying, uh, oh, isn't this wonderful? This uh, looks is brilliant. Very keen I'd love to like live here. That, that is just going to push the price right up. So the lockout so, clause is just another uh, nice technique view, which uh, you've explained in the book, which can give you a really good negotiation, negotiating position. And the better you negotiate, the more likely you are to get your way, whether you're buying or selling, and get the results which you want. So, and remember, if you're saving, it's absolutely great. If you're saving five thousand pounds on most property purchases. It's when you work that now, it's actually dealing with professional years years of interest to negotiate every day. I don't know yeah, what the figures are. And then you really add on to sell that house the tax you have to pay to earn that sum of money. Buying, I house. should imagine that every no, £5,000 saving, I think I worked this out anything somewhere else for a different property, it was something like 20,000 pounds worth of money over 20 years life of a mortgage. So that is just going to put your book up. So the lockout clause is just another counteract going which, in, uh, you with your hands in the tied behind your back, you facing my negotiation, which might be creating negotiation. So, yeah. you know, the better you even if someone's not doing conveyancing and have market stuff at the moment, moment, they should go and have a look at your book and get the results about yeah. buying and selling yeah. properties. And, and, so, and, and remember, book, if you're saving, if you're saving £5,000 on a property purchase, when you work that out over 25 years of interest, let's say 4%, I don't know what the figures are, and then you add on the tax you have to pay to run that sum of money, uh, I should I imagine that every £5,000 savings, six to 12 I think I worked this out somewhere else, to a different property, was something like £20,000 uh, worth of money over 20 years like the mortgage. So, uh, there's enough time for you, you know, to get your book dip in has some good tips. Yeah, well, it can certainly, it can certainly uh, make your life going much in, easier than you're watching uh, the your local news program on television. So, if you've got a spare yeah, 20 so minutes, yes. uh, even if someone's not going to read something like this and learn all about the moment, they should the go and have a look at what most people make about buying in their property. lifetime. And it has a significant effect on, it, it, on everything else that they do. You know, £20,000 saving could could pay for some very nice holidays over a few years. So, it's well worth doing. I think what we'll do here, Paul, is. 
I think I'm just going to uh, you know, you have to point people towards your website where they can grab hold of this book. Of course, the website is Clutton Cox, and that's uh, Clutton is C L U T T O N, and Cox is C O X. CluttonCox.co.uk, and they can just basically get a download of this book in a PDF well, I can website. Can read it on their uh, iPad or their iPhone, iPhone easier than or their PC, you know, your local and news save them on television and use it to spare the one. Even forward it onto friends. I go there if you know someone. Someone like who is going to be buying or selling a house in the next few months, just go there, there make, uh, grab this in their book lifetime, and forward it onto your friends. Because rather than paying that, uh, £9, £9, you know, £20,000 saving, Amazon, yes. could pay which, is, which is what I did, because I've got a hard copy of the book, which is like hard copies, it's well worth going. You can go to the website and get it absolutely What we'll do here, Paul, is I think I'm just going to great talking to you. I hope people has been useful and informative website where they can grab all of this book. Of course, the website is If you don't know who Paul Hadjik is, go to C-L-U-T-T-O-N and call Look at his all his blog stuff. And if you have any questions, you can email and they can just basically get a download of this book in a PDF format so you can read it on their iPad or their iPhone. Thank you very much indeed. Or their PC. Maybe catch up on the future on some more subjects whenever they want. Even forward it on to friends. Thank you. Go there. If you know someone who is going to be buying or selling a house in the next few months, just go there, grab this book, and forward it on to your friends. Because rather than paying £9.47 on Amazon, yes. which is which is what I did because I've got a you know a hard copy of the book, which I do like hard copies. You can go to the website and get it absolutely free. Yes. Paul, it's been great talking to you. I hope yes. that this has been useful and informative for people looking at conveyancing. Yes. If you don't know who Paul Hadjik is, go to Cotton Cox the Cut UK and look at all his blog stuff. And if you have any questions, you can always email info at cottoncox.co.uk. Yes. Absolutely. Paul. Thank you very much indeed. Let's maybe catch up in the future on some more subjects about conveyancing. Thank you. Thank you.